This video explains how to access the attributes of a data object using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data object, as you can see in lines two and three of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object called data is appearing. And we can also print the content of this data object to the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a data set, which contains five rows and the two columns x1 and x2. Now let's assume that we want to access the attributes of this data object. Then we can apply the attributes function as you can see in line six of the code. And within the attributes function, we need to specify the name of the data objects that we want to check. And in this case, I'm also storing the output of the attributes function in a new data object that I'm calling data row. So after running line six of the code, this new data object is appearing at the top right and we can print it to the bottom in the RStudio console. And then you can see that we have created a list of attributes. So this specific list contains the names of our data object, in this case, x1 and x2, the class of our data object. So in this case, we are dealing with a data frame and the row names of our data object. So in this case, the row names of our data object are ranging from the value one to the value five. We may also extract certain attributes from our data object as you can see in the next line of code. So in this case, I'm using the data adder data object that I have created before. And then I'm using the dollar operator to extract a certain element of this data object. So in this case, I'm interested in the class of our input data object. And for that reason, I'm specifying the class element. So after running line nine of the code, you can see that only the class of our input data object is returned. So in this case, we are dealing with a data frame. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.